This is what we came for. Let's find out what we're made of tonight. The way you rock the dance floor. I can feel your heartbeat on mine. I don't know what I'm in for, but baby, keep it going. I don't mind. We dance like nobody's watching. Dance like nobody's watching. when I'm dancing because sometimes I get really functified and I'm dancing like a crazy person. I don't know if y'all have ever watched Seinfeld and seen Elaine dance, but sometimes I get kind of weird. Now, speaking of weird, I just got some stuff that I want to share with you guys. I try to do this during any show and every show that I have. Just I find stuff on the internet because, you know, if it's on the internet, it's got to be true. Okay, that's kind of my thing. So I was just checking out stuff about the music industry, and I found something pretty interesting. So listen to this. An Australian study... No, I'm not going to th- read that one. That's not very sad. That's very sad. Okay, so I never knew this. None of the Beatles could read or write music. Thank God, because I can't either. I can write music. No, like, I don't know how to write it physically, like with the little um, notes um, to make it, but I can write a song. So does that mean the same thing? I don't know. So that was interesting. The most expensive musical instrument in the world it is, strat- is a Stradivarius, Stradivarius, I can't speak. That's a really hard word to say. Violin that sold for, wait for it, 15.5. Nine million dollars. <sighs> oh, like I couldn't. I I I wouldn't want to touch it. Like stick that sucker in a box. All right. Your heartbeat mimics the beat of the music you're listening to. Whoa. So this next song that I'm gonna spin, y'all, by Natalie Jean, called Red Room. One of my favorites. I want you to feel your heart. You're going to put your hand on your heart and you're going to listen to it as you listen to this. Feel your heart as you listen to this. I'm serious. Your heartbeat mix the beat of the music you're listening to. Ooh, we're going to remember that one. Okay. 
Um, this is so me. People prefer the original versions of songs because it's the first version they heard, not because it's better. True. It's almost like a movie. Sometimes I'm like, don't redo that movie. Don't redo it because it was great the first time. I don't need a second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. I don't need you to redo this. Just leave it alone. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a, that, kudos to that one. Okay. Um, in a 2007 study, it was found that music, especially classical music, helps plants grow faster. Okay, so all of you people in like Colorado and all the places that have legal, you know what, you guys need to be blasting out some classical music and measure them and you let me know if that stuff has grown because that, that would be like a great science experiment. <laughs> I have heard that though. And of course, you know, like music does help people sleep. I have to sleep with the the beautiful not the lullaby stuff. Now, the music cannot have anything like with water or like waves or like some uh, creepy squawking birds. I love birds. Hello, I'm the songbird. But don't have like a seagull like come out of the blue while I'm trying to sleep because it's like squawk, squawk, squawk. Because that makes me jump right out of bed. Seriously, people, don't throw freaking birds in my deep sleep mode. Okay, my REM is like totally OMG, right? Okay. Anyway, let's find just one more because I got some songs to spin. Uh, la, 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 la. A song gets stuck in your head on repeat. It is called an earworm. Weird. I didn't see that coming. Mm -mm. And favorite songs are favorites, most likely because they're associated with an intense emotional event, event in your life. And that is so true because, you know, there's so many songs out there. There's so many, like, in particular that I can name right off the top of my head that, man, you're going through something good, bad, ugly, beautiful. And that song comes on and you're like, oh, my God, they wrote that for me. Or they wrote that about me. Or that's my jam. That's my jam to my jelly, you know? Or it brings you back to a time when you were growing up or you were with so-and-so. It's just some something cool. And that's why music's so amazeballs. I mean, you just can't not like music. And if somebody doesn't like music, then they are not a human. So what did I say earlier? Everybody, stop what you're doing. Take your hand on your heart, unless you're driving. Okay, y'all, <laughs> if you're driving, keep going. But put your hand on your heart or just pay attention. Kind of listen, feel yourself. It literally says your heartbeat mimics the beat of the music you're listening to. Do it now. Natalie Jean, Red Room. Let's see. Let's test it out. Yes. 
Bye. 